Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into a product I picked up from Summit Racing. You can also find it in multiple other, multiple other locations. Uh, that is the Optima 400 battery charger slash maintainer. You're going to find it for price ranges of $100 to $140. Most commonly is about $120, $130. Once in a while you'll find it on sale for around that $100 price range but other than that it's a great product. It's going to be great in my use. I primarily use it for maintaining the battery on a vehicle that is not daily driven. Now, yes, this can be used as a standard battery charger. It is not a fast charger. This is the Optima 400. They also have the 1200 version. Uh, this is the compact, very, uh, very nice little unit. It is a little bit more expensive than some of your cheaper no name brand ones and then even some of the more name brand ones on the market. You could probably get a battery charger from around forty dollars to a hundred dollars, uh, and then nicer ones, you know, hundred to four hundred dollars, just depending on what you're looking at. So this one falls still in the affordable uh, area as long as you're not looking for a super cheap uh, charger or slash maintainer. I have a red top battery. This is going to be great for Optima batteries. No. You do not need an Optima charger to charge Optima batteries. These just do great recharging or bringing back those batteries that fall into the 10 volt area and, and below because a lot of chargers will not bring batteries back uh, if they're in the 10 volt range. So I got this not just because I have a red top battery but because it's great for uh, vehicles that you don't drive daily vehicles that um, may just sit a lot. So while I've been doing this rebuild, it's been great for me. And even once I get it running and going, I'm not gonna be driving it all the time. It's gonna be on nice weekends and things like that. So I'll get into this. We'll look at some of the specs and features of it. I'll show you how I have it mounted, some of the things that it comes with, and then I'll show you how to hook it up and uh, kind of the process it goes through. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them down in the comments. And uh, if you guys enjoy, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Let's get into this. All right, so don't mind the mess. Uh, so we got the alligator clips, and we have the Optima 400 plugged in. Sorry about the light glare. I'm, I doubt you guys will be able to read the screen. It says um, make a quick set selection now, and it's kind of uh, blinking through the different battery types. First, we're going to go ahead and plug in the unit to the actual alligator clips, like so. And then by making a quick selection, I have the Optima red top. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And it says analyzing. And it's just going to go ahead and run through a test. It does have the temperature compensation on and it does say it's connected correctly. And you can also shut the backlight off. I'm not sure if that'll help you guys read it or not. It just says analyzing right now. Once it is done, I'll let you guys know what it states and then it should go into automatically charging the battery and showing us the percentage. So it is done with the test and it was just at 25%. It just jumped up to 50%. Uh, so it is charging it is at 12.5 six volts and it is charging at 3.7 amps so the lower the battery charge the more amperage it's going to put towards it it's four amps now i doubt you guys can read that with the glare and the lighting and everything but it is running at four amps now it kind of fluctuates between 3.6 and four and it just states charging 12 volt optimum battery at the top and it shows we're at a 50% charge right now. It'll probably take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours to charge a battery with this amount of amps. So I'm just gonna let it go through its charge. It's 6.30 now, I'll let you guys know when we hit 100% and uh, I'll let you guys know how long that took. We're so it is fully charged, you can see the 100% here, it's, all the LEDs are lit up and it, it states maintaining 12 volt Optima battery uh, it's maintaining it at 13.2 volts and 0.3 of an amp and this fluctuates and it's just keeping the battery at a full charge so it's maintaining it. Uh, so while it's charging it will show you the voltage of the battery or the pre-charged pre voltage and then after it's done it will show you the uh, amount that it's actually applying to the battery to maintain it. Uh, I know you can't really see it on here. I've attempted to kind of 
It's just really hard to read, especially with this chrome ring around it. And then on the unit, the top portion of the display, that will show charging, conditioning, and auto maintain mode status. So if, like as far as the charging or fault condition, so if you plug it in, it's analyzing the battery. If it comes up with any faults with the battery, that's where it displays. And then it'll tell you, you know, the battery's charging. And then once it's done, it'll say it's maintaining, things like that. And then to the lower left where it says volts, it'll, it displays pre-charge status. And then charging and auto-maintaining charger voltage. So it displays, like I stated, when it's charging the voltage and then when it's maintaining as well. And then the amps displays the charging and auto maintain charger amperage. And then it also goes through in the booklet of different things you may see as far as information, uh, pre-charge battery status, battery normal, deep discharge, uh, select charge. And then here are just more things that you may see, reverse polarity, wiring fault, check connection on battery, charger high temp fault condition, unable to charge check battery, and it goes through everything to kind of help you figure it out if you have any of, of these issues and then out of range battery. So multiple different things, a nice little user guide here if you come up with any of those faults. But So overall, I think the digital 400 is a great option, uh, especially for the price and especially having a project car which is going to be something that I don't drive daily. It also has a 30 day conditioning or maintaining status as well. So here you can also see like if it's profile one, which is the red top or blue top, it states nine to 15 hours for a battery that's between 20 and 40% discharge and then 18 to 30 hours at 50% or greater discharge. And then it goes on to display the length of time it takes for a charge on other batteries as well. And then it also has a 30 day reconditioning mode, which is nice. So if you have your vehicle in storage, uh, you can hook this up and it has a 30 day recondition mode where I believe it, it maintains it or reconditions the battery for three hours. Uh, so kind of a cool feature there as well. But if you guys are interested, I'll try and have this link down below in the tools link if I can find it on Amazon. Otherwise, like I stated, I got mine from Summit Racing and keep in mind that they range anywhere from 100 to 100 60 dollars just depending on where you purchase it from thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed please make sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below of your guys thoughts if you guys have used this or you're considering picking one up and uh, as always if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing i'll see you guys next time